Alrighty, so Summer Games Fest started today. It was a while ago. I think it ended um, about an hour and 40 minutes ago. Uh, somewhere around that, I think. And I was just here relaxing. But uh, Sonic X Shadow Generations was there. Now, I'm not going to be do doing this for too long because uh, this is going to be pretty short. Um, probably something that will go out either later today, like real late, like 10 to 12 or early tomorrow you know i i still wanted to make it anyway because i did say we were going to wait till we got actual gameplay for the game and um so the one thing that was taken away from this as well as everything involving the site and news sources is that this is this this game is uh sonic x shadow generations this game is very much like super mario 3d world plus bowser's fury which is a game i really like uh, I think it was my first 3D Mario game. My first 2D Mario game, I think, was Mario 1. Yeah, the original 3D World was my first Mario game. Then I picked this up. So, actually, my, my story with Mario and Sonic aren't really that far off. First time played the game was actually the original one. Probably not under the best conditions, but I played the original one. Uh, and then uh, my first 3D version of them were some that people would actively consider... For, in terms of the recent games of their series when they came out, some of the best. And then they're bo they both got re-released on current-gen consoles that just look prettier and then uh, get more content on top of that. And both are open-world as well. Because, um, like I said, we got the Summer Games Fest trailer. Like, I'm going to play that in the video now. But I will be reading the website. So the website actually has a bunch of stuff... It has some new renders of Sonic, both Sonics and Shadow. Um, it gave, they gave us a release date, that being October 25th. That's at the end of the trailer, but I think I might put some stuff up on the screen at some point. But yeah, the, we got a new trailer, and then the site updated. So I'll be reading this. So the way that the site is set up is that there are actually two different versions of it you can flip through by clicking the Sonic Generations and Shadow Generations parts of the screen. And those will flip-flop between the two different, basically two different games. And you'll be able to read stuff about them. So since Gens was the one that was out first, I'll be reading Sonic Generations' uh, summary. So yeah, like they said, available uh, October 25th. Uh, features, an epic time-traveling Sonic adventure. So we know about this type of stuff. Past meets present in Sonic Generations when Dr. Eggman teams up with his past self and the mysterious Time Eater to erase their past feats and rewrite history. They scatter Sonic and his friends across space and time. Now, modern, modern and classic Sonic will have to team up to defeat this dastardly trio and restore their timeline to normal. Uh, best of both worlds is basically just, you know, saying that there's 2D and 3D, so it's been dashed through. A greatest hits collection of 2D of 3D and 2D versions of iconic stages from past Sonic games, now with updated visuals and reworked cinematics. So that's real because people looked at some of the screenshots that were posted and uh, saw that like things like the Sonic's birthday scene in the opening, they actually have more chow in them, and then some parts of the background are just clearer than they were in the original game. Um, so yeah, they absolutely, they, I don't remember if they did this for Colors Ultimate. I think they might have, um, no, 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 wait, actually, if I remember correctly, they, um, just upscaled the old ones, but they went back and re-rendered, I think, changed stuff and re-rendered re the cutscenes. Um, I imagine that doing things like, we'll see this later on on this page, but doing things like editing the levels and physics and cinematics and stuff would probably be easier for gens than it would be for colors because like they said in a lot of the interviews for it for colors ultimate a lot of colors was based off of nintendo's proprietary soft like proprietary coding and all that stuff for their console the wii so they'd have to remove and change a lot of stuff meanwhile generations was made to be multi-platform came out play, playstation 3 xbox 360 um and pc so at bare minimum if you're looking at the ps3 version that's still things that they can just port and use 
even if they can't just re-release the game. But it looks like they are just taking base gens, like the original one from 2011, and just upgrading, prettying up everything, and then adding bits and pieces here and there, which is good. They couldn't do that with colors. If they could have, I think everyone would have preferred, like even me, I don't really care that much, but out of the two ways they could have gone, the way they did go, or the way they're going with this, I think if they could have, they should have just done what they're doing here. But of course we know that it was either, it was going to be near impossible to do it exactly like this. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, rework cinematics, okay. There are more collectibles and bonus content, so rescue chow hiding at every level. That This is what I was talking about. They added Chow to this level. I thought I was high when I was looking at the trailer. Because I was in, I was looking at um, classic uh, Seaside Hill. And I was like, what is that in the back? It's like this blue thing. And I was like, oh, you know what? That's a Chow. That might be one of the Finding Chow missions. But in the back of my mind, I was like, does that even have a Finding Chow mission? Because I actually did do all the missions. I didn't 100% the game because I think that requires getting all the red rings. I still haven't done that yet. Uh, I'm only missing all the red rings. For Classic Sonic, I'm missing all the red rings in Crisis City. Basically, I think I'm missing all, only the red rings from the last era. And then for Modern Sonic, I'm only missing red rings from from Planet Wisp. Um, but I did all the missions for every area. And got S ranks on all of them, I believe. Or close to all of them. So I was sitting there. I was like, but Seaside Hill doesn't have a Chow saving mission. That's... What I believe that's um, Speed Highway, and if you want to count the original Unleashed mission in the original uh, Rooftop Run mission in Unleashed, then that one too. But other than that, I don't think any other stage really had them. So I was like, okay, well, what's the, uh, but I was like, okay, that could be a mission. And then I saw a red ring right next to it, and I was like, all right, well, it's not then, because uh anyone who's really played any of the extra missions in gens knows that they wall off certain level parts of the level and a lot of things like red rings just won't be there so this was in the stage um they also had like i think there was like a, a classic sonic animation of him like almost stumbling or tumbling when the um orca hit him and I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen in the original generations either. All the times I've seen both Sonics get hit by Orcas to go upwards, it's always been curled in a ball. So I'm not entirely sure about that one. Um, I think, yeah, so you can rescue your child, hidden the levels, rack up the highest pinball score in Casino Night Zone. So yeah, the Casino Night is now just a part of all versions of the game now. I think originally it was a DLC... Uh, I believe on the consoles it was a pre-order bonus, but in P on PC you just had it. But yeah, that, now everyone gets it. Um, and then the behind-the-scenes art music and more. There's art music, and then I think they might keep the trophies and the character bios uh, and the movies and stuff. Like the cutscenes. So that's it for the Sonic portion until we get to the pre-order bonuses. Then we get to the Shadow part. Now for the Shadow Generations portion of the game. So with this one, the return of Shadow. In this new standalone campaign, Shadow's nemesis Black Doom has re-emerged and threatens to take over the world once again. Shadow must journey into his past, confront his painful memories, and unlock new dark powers to save the world. So this is interesting because we did in fact see the Time Eater. Uh, in this in this trailer but they make it seem like black doom is the main villain so what i can only assume is that it's some type of version of what eggman is eggman has going on where black doom is taking control of the time eater somehow now how that how that works because i'm pretty sure bro was dead at the end of shadow the hedgehog unless they just say he wasn't they never really talked about him afterwards, so it's hard to know. But I thought Bro was dead afterwards. And again, if, if I'm missing something, maybe someone could let me know. But I'm, I was pretty sure he was gone. Um, but whether he wasn't, or this is some type of, like, while it was going through time and erasing it, he did something. Um, because I'm pretty sure 
the time eater has to physically go through time to erase it. But whether it be some that type of thing, or if it's he's just still alive, he is the main villain of Shadow Story. From what this is, if this is to be believed the way that I'm seeing it. Um, next up, Shadow Evolved. Harness Shadow's new Doom powers. So we're tapping into the uh, the alien part of Shadow's genetics. To battle hordes of enemies and tackle platforming challenges like never before. Surf on water, fly over obstacles, and stop time with the return of Chaos Control. Surf on water is interesting because... Uh, one of the things that I know though some people were kind of disappointed by with Frontiers is how they have really good water in Frontiers and then you just can't run on it. You can't run on it and it barely gets used ever. It's more of a set piece than anything. Uh, like you can still drown in it, but that's like it. It's there to drown in and to make the islands look natural. And, and that's it. Because, you know, what type of foresty, plainsy, t like, slightly mountainous type area doesn't have a, a river or waterfall or something? You know, like, that's just a thing that they have. But it looks like we're going to be interacting with water a lot more, which seems pretty nice. Journey through dim time and dimensions. Experience the ultimate showdown between Shadow and Black Doom in a new boss battle that will test your skills and reflexes. Use all of Shadow's abilities to defeat Black Doom and save the world. So this next part is extremely interesting. This next part right here, I'll save a picture of it and then and show y'all. But explore the new white space. Stretch your legs with an all-new Hell World inspired by the open zone gameplay of Sonic Frontiers. As Shadow gains new powers, he can explore further and uncover the secrets hidden throughout so yeah, this is where that thing about this being basically Bowser's Fury comes from. Because we have this original, way more linear game that is being remastered, prettied up. And then you also get this new open area type thing that is looking like, just like Bowser's Fury, going to take a lot more classical elements of the series than the all new open world game before it in this case sonic frontiers to mario's uh, uh, mario odyssey um because uh, I, feel, I feel like this happens a lot with open world games for pre-existing series they will omit things like classic things from the series when they do their first one and as much as i know that that makes people upset i think that's actually a good idea uh, I'm not going to go too far into this, but basically it's like I would rather them try and fail with something brand new that was like, not even fail, but just experiment with something brand new than take something people like and then risk upsetting them by making it not work. Do something original with a new concept first, then go back and form fit the old stuff to it once you know what you're doing with that. And how to translate it generations basically did the same thing right they did the daytime stages and unleashed made some changes with the colors to figure it out by the time we got to generations like unleashed has better levels but in terms of actual gameplay generations generations clears it and it's not a discussion so i think that's what they're they were doing here but instead of it being something like one game a second game and then the third game, in which case is Unleashed Colors Generations. Here we have Frontiers came out. It got basically a whole new game's, in terms of time anyway, a whole new game's worth of content through its updates. Then Sonic X Shadow comes out, and it isn't really, it it could be, a, it is a whole new game essentially, considering Generations 4 hours. All this needs to be is like 4 hours and a, yeah. Especially since if you're bu not buying the uh, digital deluxe version, it's like 50 bucks, so both games are like 25 But it's taking more classic elements and then also taking the new elements from the open world and then expanding on the open world even more while making old stuff form fit to it. Like I I'm like introducing a bunch of uh, water and stuff and being able to d use your chaos control powers um, and it's keeping a lot of 
uh, stuff that you would see from the earlier games, specifically boost games and stuff, but even some of the adventure games too. Anyway, I, I said I wasn't going to ramble, but that was a lot. So then we have a lot of a bunch of screenshots. Before I get into what we did see, I do want to cover this last essential part, which is the pre-order part. So if you pre-order this game, you can get a Sonic Adventure Legacy skin. This is another new thing for um, for this game. You can have skins now for both Sonic and Shadow in both games because this Sonic Adventure Legacy skin is from Modern Sonic. Then you get the Digital Deluxe Season Pass. So you get a Terrio skin, which was Shadow's original concept art design before they finished him in Adventure 2. You get extra background music, a digital art book, a soundtrack, which is usually the main reason I get it. And then some skill points for Sonic Generations, which I'm not too sure about. It made it sound like the skill points would only really be used for um, Shadow's part, if I'm thinking about this correctly. Or, because there are, I think, skill points in normal gens, but they don't work the same, you get more of those. So the way that Generations does it, for anyone who somehow isn't familiar with it, in gens when you finish stages whether it be in the normal stages the bosses the rival fights or or uh, missions your score is converted into points that you can use to purchase skills from the skill shop and then you can put make different presets of skills for both sonics to have on them so that you can use certain things and play a certain way in stages. Now, in base generations, this will be interesting if they do change it, but so far in base generations, that stuff only ever worked in the normal stages. You can't take it into boss fights, rival fights, or missions. With the sole exception of Classic Sonic's homing attack, I'm pretty sure. I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the only exception. So that that's probably what they mean. I just thought about that while I was saying it. Um, but yeah, and if you get it on PlayStation, continuing on, if you get it on PlayStation, you'll get exclusive prologue animations. Now, with that being said, there is a prologue animation, I believe, coming out in July. Which means that there's going to be, like, either that just means they're putting that in with the game when you buy it, which is something Frontiers and Superstars didn't do for some reason. Like, the animated stuff that they had that they put on their social medias, I would have loved to have had those with the games. Or, it's something actually exclusive for PlayStation. Or, which is the third one, is both. Fine with any of them, to be honest. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, if you, you unless you get it on the Switch, if you pre-order it, you can play it three days early. You know full well I'm pre-ordering it, so that means that actually, I'm not going to put out videos till the actual game release date. Which, knowing them, is either a Tuesday or a Thursday. Let me go ahead and look real quick. Oh, no, actually, it's a Friday. Huh. They usually do Tuesday, Thursday things. Um, but, yeah, so videos won't be going out till that Friday. From me, anyway. But I will be playing it with my brother, most likely. Since we get it early... We'll probably just do it the way that we did it for Superstars, where we'll probably play it, like, the day of, and then the next time we play it will be the day of release. We didn't exactly do that with Superstars, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah, that's all the essential stuff out the way right now. The game is... Oh, also, the game in base price is the same as Generations was when it first launched. I know I brought it up earlier, but um, the Digital Deluxe version makes it a full price game, Otherwise, it is a $50 game. Um, Colors Ultimate, I believe, base was 40 I think. Alrighty then. Now, we can go on to the screenshots. So, there's not much. We mentioned Carnival Night, but there are also some stages that we haven't seen. With one of them being, I believe this is Rail Canyon from Sonic Heroes. And then, you know, other things like the upgraded textures and cutscenes for base generations like how they added the chow and stuff let's see some shots of the white space for shadow story shadow with his cool ass wings uh which were real weird yeah sonic here's another one um this one looks like westopolis i believe 
and then yep the upgraded cutscene here is an arc level either final chase or i think the shadow of the hedgehog one was lost impact here's some chasing down black doom kicking that energy ball there was something else i forget i might have to go looking for it but um they also showed another stage and that stage was Kingdom Valley. So something that I thought, thought was interesting was a lot of the stages that are in the Shadow Story turned out to be stages that um, people, I know a lot of people uh, would have picked for base gens if the ones that got picked weren't there already. And what I mean is because Shadow is in a good few of the games that were already represented in base generations, he's going to get different levels from Sonic. But a lot of those levels, because they're in the same game, other people would have picked them instead of the ones that we had already. So, for instance, if we're going with Sonic Heroes... Well, not known. Let's not do Sonic Heroes, actually. One of the, the best examples is 06. People saw, saw Crisis City. Obviously, it's already been told that Generations stages worked on voting. So the fans voted for the, the stages that they wanted in the game at the time. I feel like that vote would probably be different now if they did another one, but that's what happened with the original one. And a lot of the stages that people would have chosen if they couldn't have the other stages that they chose originally ended up here. So for 06, a lot of people said if they didn't put Crisis City in, their other choice would be Kingdom Valley. I think Heroes, I think, is slightly is it, i don't think rail canyon comes up that much i think a lot more people go with grand metropolis or hang castle but i do know that i have heard it before understandable and then um you know adventure 2 city escape uh, or and then if it wasn't that either metal harbor or one of the arc levels and then we do have a stage from shadows standalone game I'm pretty sure, and I think we have Radical Highway, but that was already in Generations 3DS. So he has Radical Highway, he has Kingdom Valley, he has Rail Canyon, he has Westopolis. I believe that might be it. No, and then one of the arc levels, that's five. So that's that's five. Um, and I believe, like they said in the pre-order, there will be an additional shadow... Uh, there will be an additional character skin and level for Shadow that come out around holiday 2024, so November. So around November. Those are different. Like, that character skin is different from the Terrio skin because it's, it's listed separately. So that means that he's getting a sixth level and he's getting another skin before the year's out. So yeah, I think that's just about all the news. Other than that, I can only really look at stuff. Like this white world image i did say it's gonna consist of more classic design elements but the white world itself doesn't really like it takes the white and gold and black and gold and uses it a lot like everywhere there's some stuff that it looks like would kill you if you touch it but other than that like it looks really cool it's yeah it is using that like temple time t temple of time aesthetic I don't mean like the Zelda one. I mean like like a what you would imagine when you think Temple of Time. You'd think, especially if you saw like the type of clock, like those grand like clockwork clocks that have like gold and brass everywhere. So this is like the type of temple type stuff you would see or you would imagine with stuff like that. Like white and gold everywhere and then some black in some places. Uh, there's definitely a lot of water. I think there are a few level i think i'm seeing a level gate maybe and it, you can see stuff from a lot of the other stages i think i see one of the kingdom valley statues over there so yeah this is looking awesome uh, i can't wait to play it this recording is going on way too long i there are some dead spaces i can cut those out but i think yeah other than that you know i'll see you when i see you there might be some more news soon because Sonic's birthday is soon and they got to do something for his birthday. Um, and there could be some Pokemon news within the next two weeks, maybe. That seems about right. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm still going back and forth about making an update video um, since it has been three months since the one, I think, in March. But, yeah. 
So that's about it. Let me go ahead and cut this down, edit it, and upload it. And uh, see you.